Hey there, Leo, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your monthly reading. This is going to be a reading for the month of April, and we're going to take a look at your past, present, and near future energies. Also, Leo, if this reading resonates and you want to book a personal, all the information about how to do that is in the description box below. And of course, if you enjoy what I do and you want to say thank you, your girl loves coffee. Donation link is below. Any and every amount is greatly appreciated. Lastly, Leo, if you enjoy these readings and you want even more free readings, make sure to subscribe to my email list. I send out free extended readings every Monday only to my email list subscribers. You cannot get these readings anywhere else. Also, Leo, I'm currently in Vegas. I decided to come to some warmer weather, which is why the whole setup looks different. The winds here are howling. Like when I tell you howling, I'm like, I'm shocked this window is holding up. Um, also, the lighting here is seven shades of messed up. Like there's light here. There's no light here. Hoping this is not driving you as crazy as it's driving me, Leo, but if it does, sorry. Okay, main energy for your reading is the King of Cups. Bottom of the deck, you get the Eight of Swords. You stress and stress them. Like, you're stressing out about the love that you have for somebody. You're showing me, like, I have love, I love this person, but then there's stress. There's overthinking. There's overanalyzing. There's a lot of things that go in to you and this connection, and it's not just happy, happy, joy, joy. Um, your person can obviously be any sign. I don't see any specific sign showing up here, but the numbers that I am seeing are zero. Um, so I don't know if that number has any significance to you, but zero is a pretty good number when it comes to tarot. In the recent past, you get the Fool, the Page of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. Your heart is starting to open up here. It's almost like the door has been cracked open emotionally for you, and I do feel like somebody came into your life, somebody new, where... It's like this person came in and you met them with resistance, with guards, with walls, you know? Um, there is an element here of this person being kind of risky. Now, when I mean risky, it could either be somebody that you have history with and you're like, do I actually want to go down this road again? Or it could also be somebody completely new where you're like, I don't know how this is going to go. Do I actually want to open up my heart to this again? So there's a little level of like, my heart's open, I'm interested, the feelings are starting to kind of be there, but it is a bit of a risk for me. So you are kind of like guarded, kind of like, oh, stay back just a little bit um, when it comes to this person. In the current situation, you get the Four of Swords, the Two of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. You're healing. You're going through a lot of healing, and this relationship seems to come in and either, it's either that you're going through healing and the relationship is just there, you know, doing its thing, or this relationship is also helping you heal. Either way, Leo, you're not the easiest energy to deal with. You're showing up as the king of pentacles. This is someone very set in their ways, almost like set in stone, like my way or the highway. I'm not about to budge. I'm not about to succumb to your wills and your desires. You're given difficult energy, but I literally don't even think your person cares because you're showing me like it's working. It's still working. Everything's good. Um, so whoever you're dealing with, they seem to be quite accepting, if not even welcoming. Like, come on, Leo, bring it on. Be difficult. Also, look at these rays of light just shining over the cards. Love that. In the near future, you get the Knight of Wands, the Four of Cups, and the Three of Wands. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of fire between you and this person. Um, and you're showing me, like, I know this person's going to come in and, like, offer me something, and we'll see what this offer is. It could be their heart on a platter. It could be something I don't know. But you're showing me, like, I know this person's going to come in and offer me something. It's just a matter of time until it happens. Um, the passion, the attraction is definitely there. I feel like you're f allowing yourself to feel more of fire, passion, attraction, all of that, as opposed to emotions, because this is safer. This feels safer to you than feelings do. But Leo, the love is there. King of Cups, the love is there. So let's clarify. Let's see what the King of Cups is all of. Oh. King of Cups is clarified by the Five of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and the Fool. You get the Fool again in the recent past. Um, you do love this person, and you also fear losing this person. You're showing me, like, I know that the amount of emotion that I have for them or that I could potentially have for them could also result in me genuinely feeling a significant amount of loss if I were to lose this connection. You're trying to evaluate and assess almost like the risk reward ratio because you're showing me like, oh, this is risky, right? Like I could get hurt. This might not work out. But on the other hand, it could also be very, very amazing. It's almost like jumping off a cliff and you're like, ah, eh, maybe there will be a pillow at the bottom. Maybe it'll be rock hard. Like, I don't know. I'm jumping into the like abyss. 
Um, and you're like, it could be great, it could be terrifying. <laughs> I, I'm not really sure. So you're trying to kind of like math, you know, do the math and be like, well, what's the likelihood of it going well? What's the likelihood of it going not so well? You're trying to figure it out. Let's take a look at the recent past, start off with the Fool. The Fool is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and the Tower. I do feel like you have history with this person. For those of you that don't, you're fresh off of a breakup. Oops, you're fresh off of an ending. You're showing me, I'm trying to move slowly. I'm really, like there was an ending, it was difficult, it was difficult for me to get over. I'm trying to move slowly, like snail's pace slow, like really, really slow, and then bam, out of nowhere, this frickin' person shows up. Out of nowhere, like out of left field, this person shows up, this new beginning shows up, it's like you're showing me the tower, which is literally like I was going about my day expecting things to go one way and then complete 180 in a different direction. Um, so I feel like whoever this person is, wherever they came from in the recent past, you were not expecting them. It was a complete total shock that they showed up. Let's take a look at the page of cups in the recent past. Page of Cups is clarified by the Queen of Wands, Five of Wands, Four of Wands. You feel a very strong bond with this person and you are so drawn to them. It's like moth to a flame energy. Not only are you physically attracted to them, Leo, like you're looking at them and you're like, ooh, sexy. Um, you also feel very connected to them. Like the bond is there. Now the thing for you is it throws you into a little bit of like conflicting energy because on the one hand, you're like, oh, I'm so drawn to them. I'm so attracted to them. On the other hand, that comes with feelings. And you're showing me like, well, you know, the feelings are starting to be there, but do I want them there? Do I want to feel these things? Do I want to experience these things? There's a little bit of resistance here for you in internal conflict between allowing yourself to experience these beautiful emotions of passion, love, attraction, connection, energy, um, and like protecting yourself. And I don't know if you can hear the wind. That is literally the wind against this window. Wow. Let's take a look at the Seven of Wands in the recent past, Leo. Seven of Wands is clarified by the Three of Wands, which you get again in the near future in the same row, the Four of Swords, which you get in the current situation, and the Ace of Cups. You know where this is going, right? Bottom of the deck, you get the Knight of Cups. You know where this is going. This is moving in the direction of a new beginning in love. This is moving towards healing, beautiful energy. And you're showing me, I know where this is going, but there's resistance for me. Whether it's because, again, you have history with this person, whether it's because you're not really sure if you want to feel these feelings or not, you, there's a lot of like internal resistance happening for you in the way. But it's almost like you know that this is inevitable. You're just kind of trying to delay the inevitable of having the feelings, having the emotions, it moving in that direction. Um, but you know where this is going. Let's take a look at the Four of Swords in the current situation. Four of Swords is clarified by the Eight of Wands, the Emperor, and the Nine of Wands. So you're focused really on your healing, right? Justice, making sure that you're divinely balanced. And remember how I said that you're pretty difficult? You're giving me difficult energy here. And I feel like you communicated this to your person where you're like, look, I'm not easy to deal with, I'm demanding. I'm very guarded, like I want A, B, C, and D. I'm not about to budge, like I know what I deserve and you either show, show up correct or like don't show up at all. Um, I don't feel like this scares your person off at all. Like your person is, is, I don't really see their energy, but you're showing me at the base of all of this difficult energy that you're communicating to your person is healing. And which when you're showing me that energy, it's letting me know that your person's kind of like, all right, cool, bring it on, I'm down. Leo, whatever you want. Whatever you want, Leo. Let's take a look at the Two of Cups in the current situation. Two of Cups is clarified by the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Hanging Man. So remember how you got the Eight of Swords at the bottom of this deck, clarifying the main energy for your reading? The thing that you're stressing out about is love. You have a fear that by falling in love, by falling into this relationship, by getting into this committed relationship, you will somehow have to give up your independence, your stability, your needs, your desires, prioritizing yourself, right? That's what's stressing you out here. And you're showing me, I'm pumping the brakes on this whole thing. I'm the one that is literally gr making us gr come to a grinding halt because I don't know like if I'm comfortable with that, that math, like if I'm comfortable with giving up my needs, my desires and all of that 
for love. You want this love, but you also want to prioritize yourself. Bottom of the deck, Leo, you get the five of swords. You lie to yourself. You don't have to give up yourself to be in this connection. You can have both. But for some reason, you don't realize that. And in the current situation, you're like, it's either this connection or it's either me and my needs and my priorities. I can't have both. You can, you don't see it though. So you're kind of like stuck in place here. Let's take a look at the King of Pentacles in the current situation. King of Pentacles is clarified by the Devil, the Hierophant, and the Two of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, you get the Lovers. Leo, this is an intense connection. The deeper it gets, the more intense it gets, the more involved you get with this person, the more difficult you become. Um, this may be an unhealthy behavioral pattern of yours where you try to exert control by being difficult, demanding, you know, all of that. Once you start fearing, once you start getting in your head, once you start getting confused and you're not sure, you're like, oh, let me be difficult, let me be hard to deal with, let me be stubborn, you know, all of these things so that this person can essentially be like, okay, I'm done with this. And then I've essentially saved myself the heartbreak or the self-fulfilling prophecy of like, oh, they're going to end it. I don't see that happening. You're showing me that you are being very difficult. You are being very stubborn. You are being very like, you know, you're not the easiest energy to deal with here, but it's because you're coming from a place of confusion and fear of losing yourself in this connection. Um, and this is the lovers at the bottom of the deck. This is an intense connection. Your difficult energies come from a place of confusion. And I feel like your person can sense that. Let's take a look at the near future. I want to see what the Knight of Wands is all about in the near future. Knight of Wands is clarified by the High Priestess, the Strength, which is you, and the Justice card. Deep down, you know, you, you know, that despite the King of Pentacles, you being stubborn, all of that, it'll all work out in your favor. You're showing me I can be difficult. I can be inconsistent. I can be annoying. I can be frustrating. I can be the most annoying, obnoxious version of myself, and it'll still all work out in my favor. And it's not like, oh, I hope maybe you know this. It's like on a divine level, you know this. I'm loving the, the, the king queen energy here, Leo. Let's take a look at the four of cups in the near future. Four of Cups is clarified by the Six of Wands, the Magician, and the Ace of Wands. You're showing me I know that my person is going to come in and we're going to have this new beginning. We're going to have love. We're going to have passion. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. This is what you want to, by the way. This is what you're manifesting. You're showing me like I know my person is going to come in and literally offer me everything that I've been manifesting on a silver platter and it's all going to work out in my favor. You're really very, very confident, and it's not even confident like feigning confidence. You genuinely, on like a higher self level, believe and know that this will all work out in your favor. Let's take a look at the Three of Wands in the near future, Leo. Oh my God, this wind is not a joke right now. Three of Wands is clarified by the sun, sorry, the star, the sun, and the world. Bottom of the deck, you get the lovers again. Leo, this is what you've wanted. Okay, if I were a genie and I came up to you, I was like, Leo, what do you want? You're like, I want this love. I want this kind of love. And this is you. And you're showing me like this love, the love that I've been manifesting, that I've known was going to come my way. Like I literally knew it was going to come. It brings the end of a difficult cycle for me. And it's allowing me to close out this cycle, this difficult cycle that I've been on, the healing, you know, all of that, and move into a brand new, beautiful cycle. This is what you've been manifesting. So it's like the universe is really lining up to make your desires happen here in the near future. And when I'm telling you this, you're like, yeah, I know. I'm not even surprised. Like, I knew this was going to happen. Loving it. Let's take a look at what the universe wants you to keep in mind this month, Leo. From the universe, you get the Hermit, the Eight of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. Leo, here's the thing. You seem cool, calm, collected on the surface. Deep down, you stress him. You stress him for no reason because the universe is like, the universe is lining up to give you everything that you've wanted. And you know that, okay? And so you act accordingly to that. However, in the background, you're thinking, thinking, thinking like, oh my God, this love. What about this? What about that? You're going through all the worst case scenarios, which is weird to me because like on the same token, you're like, I'm stressing, I'm stressing, but like, I know it's all going to work out in my favor. To which I ask, okay, then why are you stressing then? Why are you up in your head spending hours thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking? 
if it's all going to work out in your favor anyway, which it seems to be the case. Ask yourself that question, Leo. Um, but that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you here on the next one.